Hi, it's Emma, and I'm here to give you a quick uh, video, might not be so quick, we'll see how we go, about dining reservations and how to snag them. And if you don't snag them at your 60 day window, um, how you can use a reservation finder to help you get those um, hard to get ones. Um, so I'm gonna be using my laptop here and my phone, and also um, uh, obviously the, the Disney World website and my, um, mouse dining but we'll talk about all those things a little bit later so um, it's currently 10 30 and the reason why I'm here he he he. <laughs> it's going great already the reason why I'm here at 10 30 is because you want to be prepared around about that time because um, reservations can open up from about 10 45 it's very rare that that happens um, every time I've booked it's been 11 o'clock on the dot but you, you don't want to miss out just in case they do but just in case there you want to be logged in ready for your account so that's the first thing make sure if you haven't already got one you've got a Disney World account set up um, so if you don't know what that is you're going to go to disneyworld.co.uk um, and you're going to set up an account if you haven't already got one if you have got one you're going to make sure that you are signed in you'll probably want to just double check that as well because whenever you try to make a dining reservation it's going to check that you're signed in before you do that and this all wastes precious seconds it's really annoying when you're trying to do a, a dining reservation um, secondly you're going to want to make sure once you've signed in that you've added a credit or debit card to your account. It's not going to charge you for any of your reservations unless you're booking um, Cinderella's Royal Table. That is a signature dining uh, reservation and it will take the money for you from that one. But that's the only one. Apart from that, all it's doing is using that card to save a reservation. But you need to have that card on your account to reserve any dining um any dining reservation. So those two things are really important. As I say, they can take up time um, when you're trying to book. So uh, yeah, make sure you signed in and also have a card attached to your account. They're the first two major things I'm gonna suggest you do first. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do here before we start actually uh, getting into sort of the time pressures part of the situation is I'm gonna show you how to actually get a reservation just the main process of how to do that um for some of you this will be you'll already know how to do this but i'm just going to show you it obviously i've already got this already set up but we're going to go to disneyworld.co.uk i'm just gonna hide this because we've seen it um, I'm going to sign out because I'm already signed in there. So I'm going to show you, obviously, once we get to, um, to this part, we're going to want to sign in before we do anything else. It might also remind you to sign. Why is it, why is it signing me back in automatically? Anyway, right. Let's go as if we're going to book a restaurant. So I'm going to go with something in Disney Springs. I'm just trying to think of one that's likely to have some, some, I just made that name up, Paradiso. No, I haven't. Right, I'm going to go with this place because it's the one that I can think of in Disney Springs. Um, so it's going to tell you the, how to view the menu here so you can have a look at what's available. It's going to tell you what kind of uh, food that they serve, any discounts. So if you're a, a Disney Visa card member or if you've got an annual pass, this is what it will tell you. And... Then down here, this big blue button is what you're gonna to wanna to check. If you're not already signed in, it will ask you to sign in at this point. So if you haven't already signed in, as we've said, this is gonna bring you to this page. Then you're gonna to want to um, put in your details and then you're gonna get that obligatory email from Disney to say, someone signed into your Disney account, um, which always happens. Um, and that, when you're making reservations, is the thing that can take the time. So do make sure that you are signed in beforehand. Okay, so I'm going for four here, just because four is sometimes a little bit more tricky to get for two. And most people, I, I do appreciate a lot of your parties will be bigger than four or smaller than four. Um, but four is a good generic number. So I'm going for four. Um, in here, you can pick uh, lunch or you can pick dinner. That will give you the whole lunch selection or the whole dinner selection, or you can pick by individual uh, half hour slot. Sometimes I will know, um, if you just pick lunch, it's gonna give you the whole lunch slot, as I said, and sometimes that's not good. It's gonna give you these three. 
for example, but let's see if we can narrow that down because the lunch slot's from 11 to 3.55. So in lunch, it's giving me three time slots there. But if I go, say 11.30, let's see what we can get there. Yeah, see, we've already got two more slots available there in the lunch slot. And then say 2.30, you know, we've got two more. So don't go, I don't recommend just choosing lunch and going for it because it'll look to you like there's only three available, but there's clearly more than that available. So 12.45, it says there, but at 12 o'clock, we've got 12, we've got 12.15, we've got 11.40. So go into those half an hour slots and, and choose something specific, okay? Now, the next part of the booking process so let's say we're gonna go for the 12 o'clock here. You literally click on the time that you want. And it's gonna bring up this page. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna say uh, the name of the restaurant, it's gonna give you the um, the area where the, resort, uh, where the restaurant is, the time and everything and confirm it, what you're trying to book. Then it's going to ask you to put in your party. You don't have to do this at this point, but it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to say it's for me and my two kids. I'm going to cancel this right away, obviously, because I'm not going anywhere in March. Um, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a park pass for any of this or anything like that. So I'm going to put all this in. And then you're going to press next. And then it's gonna ask you to your uh, to reserve it with your credit card. Now, this is the point where if you don't have a credit card and it can waste some time. Um, and when you're, which is fine for something like this, but when you're trying to get something really fast while you're doing this, you can lose your reservation. I know that sounds silly, but it doesn't really, it because it's, I don't know why, but because it's probably Disney and other people are vying for that reservation, you can go and it can be gone. So have that card saved and ready. Mine's already in there and it's stored. So we're gonna press next. And then this is gonna happen. This is still not a completely stored reservation. If you're making multiple reservations, do um, type your number in, in the English format, then copy paste it so that you can copy and paste it in. This is not my number, by the way. I think I put too many in, haven't I? so that you don't all see my um, my number there. Um, yeah, so I copy paste it like that so that when I'm doing multiple numbers, I can just copy and paste it in. Otherwise, again, time waste. And then you're gonna go down here, you're gonna click on, if you've got any food allergy or special requests, here is the place to put it in. You can click on this ad here. Um, you can put in anything there and um, and this thing here, okay? Right, so we're gonna put that in there and then you go back, well, when you press reserve and then you're gonna click on this button down here, I have read and agreed to the guest policy. Make sure if you're not sure what the guest policies is, are, they're not mega long, but you can read through those here. Basically, it's um, about cancellation, which means if you cancel, and it says that here, at least, you must cancel at least one day prior to your reservation um, to avoid a per person cancellation fee. And if you don't, you get charged $10 per person. So make sure you don't cancel. It's right there in those policies. So don't uh, don't forget that, that's important. And it says about forms of identification for, um, for if you're gonna drink alcohol, things like that. So when you've done that and you've ticked that button, you're gonna press reserve. And Woody's gonna tell you to wait. Don't refresh the page, don't use the back button. And then there's a pause. <laughs> oh, it's taking a slow day on my uh, my thing. But there we go, congratulations. And once you have got this confirmation number here, that means you are fully booked, okay? And that will show up in your My Disney Experience app, on your plans and on your, um, on your, uh, your plans on this website too. Okay, so that is a fully booked um, reservation. Now, let's have a look now 
as if we're going to book for our 60 days because it's now 10.47, so we're getting a bit close. Okay, so 60 days is up and running. We're about to book for a 60-day window. Now, first things to note is, do you know when your 60-day window is? Um, if you're not sure and uh, you haven't had an email from Disney if you haven't booked, because if you book direct through Disney, they will send you an email to tell you. If you are not getting a travel planner to do it for you, um, just ask Siri or as you know, put it into Google, what's 60 days from your start date? Um, if you are an on-site guest, you can book from uh, your the first day of your holiday and then 10 days afterwards. And then any days after that, you have to book them one day at a time. Um, if you're an off-site guest, you can start at 60 days and then you do one day at a time as you go, which um, it sounds like you're a bit of a disadvantage, but I'll tell you this, if you if you remember from before, off-site guests were 60 days and on-site guests were at 180 days. So you're all at the same advantage of 60 days now. I know it sounds like you're, you're, you're an, at a disadvantage, but you are not. Um, as much as it was before. And there's still ways to grab those um, those must-haves. So please don't worry too much. Okay, so again, make sure you are signed in and make sure that you have your card attached. And then once you know your um, 60 days, you're gonna get online about 20 to, 10, 20 to 11, sorry. The only time it's not gonna be 11 is when the clocks change because America's clocks change different to ours. Um, they change like a week before. And then the time zone difference makes it either an hour before or an hour after. But you don't need to worry. Generally speaking, it's 11 o'clock. So I highly, highly recommend going to that particular um, place that you want to eat. So let's pick Ohana, for example, because that's one that a lot of people want. Um, it's a family style breakfast. A lot of people really like it. When the characters are there, it's really fun because it's Stitch and it's Lilo and it's Mickey. Um, so let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to check availability and see if the day has come up yet. Right, so 60 days from today is the 19th. If I search times. Right, so here's the first thing. Here it says, we were unable to check for available tables at this time. A problem may have occurred while looking for availability. That is what comes up when the booking window hasn't opened yet. That's all that means. It doesn't mean there's a problem. It doesn't mean anything else is wrong. It just means that the booking window hasn't opened yet. And that's because it is 10 to 11 and, and the booking window opens at 11. Okay, but I highly recommend you stay on this page. You get the, the date and the time that you're gonna want to book. So let's say we wanna book it at 7.30 um, for four people. Or oh, let's, let's bump it up to seven just to show that it, you know, we can do it. Where's it gone? Right, so we've got 7.30 for seven people um, on April 19th. And the time's now 10.50, so we're gonna just wait because it's, it's just not ready yet. Okay, and whilst that is showing, you can check it at regular intervals, but whilst that is showing, that basically means nothing is going to be available yet. So I'll come back to that page in just a minute because it's uh, 10.51. But the other thing to know, and, I, and, and this is really, really important, is to be flexible. Um, when you're 60 days out, it's likely that you've got your park passes down and you know what parks you're going to want to be at um, on certain days. But don't panic because if you try and book, say I'm going to book this now for Tuesday the 19th of April and I want to book my breakfast at Ohana and I can't get it for this day, but you might be able to get it for the next day. So, I mean, maybe you're thinking I'm going to start in Ohana and then I'm going to go on to the Magic Kingdom that day, but you, maybe you can't do it because you can't fit it that day, but the next day you can. So just maybe swap Magic Kingdom to the next day and so on and so forth. Be flexible about your plans. At 60 days out, you've still got time to be flexible. Um, unless you've got something really specific booked or you've already paid for something. Um, but with most things in the in Disney, you've got a good cancellation policy and you can still change things about. So don't panic too much. That's my biggest advice. I mean, a lot of the bookings that I've done for, a, for most of my um, meal bookings, sorry, I've... I've just had to change everything around to fit my meal plans in because they're the most difficult things to fit in. Um, but if you can do that and you can be flexible, that's the best. I'm just checking this hasn't opened up yet. 
yeah, not yet. Um, that's the best thing I can uh, I can do. And you might not get all the ones that you want, but I'm going to show you some tips on how to manage that as well. Um, but being flexible is my biggest tip here. Don't panic too much. If you can't get everything you want on the day that you want it, just try it for a different day um, and go, right, okay, so I can't go to Ohana here. I can go to Ohana later in the week. And if you're doing your 60 days plus 10, make sure you start further out because not everybody will start further out. And there'll be a lot of offsite guests that can't do that 10 days. So start further out and work back towards the front and start with your most wanted further out, if that makes sense. So if you're doing 60 plus 10 and you want to go to, I don't know, um, like the most popular, like say Tosca House, maybe do that on your 10th day and work back from there. And then you're most likely to get the ones that you want in that order. Um, it takes a little bit of planning, but it's but it's easy enough to do. Okay, so we are just coming up to 11 o'clock now. As you can see, it still says we're unable to check. I've been checking that at regular intervals. Um, I actually use something called time.gov, uh, which is the Americans, basically their world clock or our, their version of the speaking clock online, um, which gives me a second by second countdown. So I know exactly when to refresh. Um, so when it comes to 11 o'clock, it's now 10.59 and 40 seconds. So when it gets to exactly 11 o'clock, I'm going to press this button again because that should turn it on. Um, and it is very exact. I've used it in the past for things like um, booking, uh, well, lots of things. And it's useful for um, like when you used to have to get boarding passes bang on 7 o'clock, right? So it's exactly 11 o'clock. Oof. Right. So there's nothing for sevens there, but let's look for fours. Ooh, right. So that means nothing is available. That can't be that quick. What? Okay. Everybody must have been super on it this morning. Right. So if this happens, this is quite an anomaly. But then I guess it's April, so lots of people are booking. Right, but here's what I want to say to you. This is how you would book. Um, and if you can't get it, just don't panic because you will be able to get it at another time. So here is where we come to my mouse dining. Right, so... And that was a very brief and it looked silly because obviously they'd gone immediately out. <laughs> and I've never seen that happen before, even during like peak times. So that was a bit of a shocker. But this is why I'm on about being flexible, especially if you've got a full 10 days. Obviously, my 10 days window wasn't going to open there because my trip happens before that. Um, but if you've got 10 days, you'll have much more luck than that. So but this is why I want to come to you about um, a, mou uh, a mouse, uh, a reservation finder. This is the one I use. This is Mouse Dining. I paid for a subscription for this for two reasons. One, because um, getting a text for me was um, better than just getting an email, but also because I was going on several trips. So I thought this might be more useful and that to pay seemed worth it for several trips. Um, however, the free, the free subscription will send you emails and it's really good. It literally will send you out a, a, a reminder, not a reminder, an email for whenever you need one. To get a text to a UK number, you have to sign up to the to the paid subscription, which it tells you about it here. It's not mega expensive. I paid for the annual one, which was $90, which I think worked out about 70 quid for a full year, which um, as a pass holder was actually really great. If you want to, wanted to not do that, it's only $9 for a month, which um, isn't too expensive and you can cancel it at any time. So it depends um, how, how you're feeling about it. But the free plan is great and you only get email alerts. So um, see which which one you which which one you um, would like. But here's how this works, I'll show you. Let me just log into my account here. So say we wanted that Ohana, um, here we are, alerts. Say we wanted that Ohana reservation that we just couldn't get there. You would type it into here. Uh, 
and we know that we want it for, well, let's say we do want it for seven people and we want it for breakfast on April the 19th. Right, it'll say view openings, but it's not gonna give it because there aren't any. It says there's no, no openings, but that's okay. So you set an alert and basically what's gonna happen is on the free one, it's gonna email you. Now, sometimes those emails come in the middle of the night, which is a bit of a pain because you can't jump on in the middle of the night because of the time zones. But if it comes in the day, you just grab it and you go for it. You can set alerts for absolutely um, anything. The only ones that don't have an alert are the fireworks packages, um, but they're separate. And then the great things about them are you can click on an, or you can search for an individual restaurant and it will show you what is available for a full month. So like there might not be anything specific available at that time, but when you go and you look, you can set an alert for anything. That's nice and easy. But like, for example, that shows you there. Oh, Hannah's got dinner openings today. 9.55. Um, let's think of any other restaurant that might not be too... That's for seven people, by the way. So if we down it down to four, I wonder if it's got more openings. No, it hasn't. Maybe for two. Yeah, so it's got more openings for breakfast for two. Um, so it's a really, really handy little screen thing that I love. I think that's a great one. Um, so you just click on here and then you can see at a glance. So I don't know, let's do Chef Art Smiths, for example. Yeah, see that's got some openings for two people. Um, and it's really, really easy to use. And I found many reservations through this. It's been really great. Um, and also the other thing you can use for reservations, I'm just going to go into my, um, not for reservations, um, just for not panicking about not getting what you want. When you get there, reservations open up all the time because people cancel, people decide they are too full to eat or they don't want to eat at a certain place or they have to change their park reservation. Where on earth is my app? Here it is. Um, so in this tip box, just let me put my VPN on so I can show you. Can't remember where anything is. Does anybody else have that issue on their uh, on their phone where they just can't remember where on earth anything is anymore? So let's go to the tip board here. Right, so dining tip board, let's have a look. So all those these these big ones like Be Our Guest and Cinderella's um Royal Table, they're the ones that do book up fast. But like Crystal Palace, that has reservations available. You can book. Skipper Canteen, accepting reservations. Liberty Tree Tavern, accepting reservations. Um, the Plaza, accepting reservations today. Tony's Town Square Restaurant, accepting reservations. And a lot of them have walk-ups as well. So there's that was just Magic Kingdom. You will be able to find places that you can go and, and get reservations. So what I'm saying really is, I, I know it seems daunting and it does look like you're not gonna be able to get what you want, but 60 days is a lot of time between you um, booking or trying to book and then you actually getting onto your, your holiday. So don't worry that you're not going to manage to get what you want. Um, you might not get everything. You might not get um, the exact times that you want or on the exact days, but um, with a little tweaking and a little perseverance, um, a little flexibility and not worrying too much, you should be able to find the reservations you want, um, most of them anyway. And then, like I say, even if you're happy to wait till you get there, you should be able to find some stuff too. Things like Ogre's Cantina, they always pop up like on the actual day because people don't stay for as long as you think they're going to or something because there's always Ogre's reservations actually day of. So just don't panic don't let it stress you out and um have fun because booking the reservations is one of my absolute favorite parts if i could book reservations for everybody i would honestly do it <laughs> i really really would if they would let me just go are you okay to move this around i would do it i would get paid to do it i would love to um but yeah just don't let it get stressy for you and um and have fun <laughs>